welcome back to my channel my name is pinky for those of you guys that are new welcome to our channel you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up for those of you guys returning welcome back my lovelies let's get into these readings this is going to be the love readings the mid-month love reading for all signs we're going to look into your new love as well as old love for those of you guys that are interested so let's get right into it i want to wish you guys all very very happy hollows eve i hope you guys welcome this season as lessons that we've learned what we've experienced time to push through that and release anything that is no longer serving us so that we can plant the seeds of what we want to manifest or bring into our lives make sure to honor respect and service your ancestors those of you guys that are in the practice i am sure i don't need to remind you all right remember that the veil is thinning spirits walk with us they guide us honor them all right let's get into it we're going to start off here with aries sun moon rising venus all right here we go i call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides spirits of light and love my ancestors and archangels as well as Spirits of divination, I invoke thee. Allow me to open up as a vessel. Let it be you who speaks through me. Allow me to see, hear, sense, view, and receive the messages for all of the signs, beginning with Aries all the way to Pisces. All right, so we're going to get into it with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, give us clarity, give us insight in regards to the new love of Aries. How do they see Aries? How do they see Aries? Okay, here we go. All right. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? All right. And what is their future actions towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month? Remaining of October 2022. Future actions. Okay. All right. So in regards how they see you at this point in time, Aries, the Two of Wands does speak about expansion, looking towards the future. Um perhaps even understanding or really having a very strong physical connection um how they feel about you they definitely feel like they want to move forward or they're thinking about the future what could potentially become from this connection however their future actions with the seven of cups shows me that they may not actually move as quickly as you would want them to I feel like they may be dealing or struggling with a lot of things on a personal level. This could be their family. This could be friends. Uh, this could be their work or finances. I feel them a little bit distracted. However, they are looking towards something uh, more long term in the future. So again, I don't see that for the remaining of this month, there will be much movement. Um, you may actually feel like they're pulling a little bit back, but do not worry. I feel like it has more to do with them dealing with a lot of things that they have currently on their plate. A lot of responsibilities or stress from outside source could be family, like I said, friends, loved ones, or work or their finances. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now let's look into the old flame or old love of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries, past love or partner? How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel? All right. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way towards Aries? Why do they feel this way towards Aries? All right. And future actions towards Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions. Oh, okay. We got two cards that popped out. Oh, we got three actually. All right, I'm going to stay with them just because I'm feeling very pulled towards them. Okay, so in regards to how they feel about you, they see you. They definitely see you, Aries. They definitely see that you are either moving on or that you're very empowered. Um, I see them really looking at, and I feel like for some of you guys, if you're still hung up on your ex or ex-partner, I feel like you may be trying, like putting yourself out there or putting yourself like on display, social media, stuff like that. And they are definitely taking notice. So if you're trying to um, get a little bit under their skin, it's definitely working because they do see you shining in regards to how um, or what is it that they feel about you at this point in time? The wheel, uh, they're definitely not completely over you. However, I feel like they may be feeling like you're the one that's moving on. For some of you guys, you could have started a recent 
uh, relationship or perhaps got yourself into a relationship or you may be in a uh, committed relationship and they are definitely hoping um, that they can turn the situation around or that they may have another opportunity. Now, in regards to their future actions, we have the Four of Wands here, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Pentacles. So again, for those of you guys that have recently moved on or started a relationship, they're definitely aware of this, and there is a feeling of almost like um, they may be too late to try to gain your trust or to try to come back into your life to try to win you over. There is a little bit of frustration there um, because I feel like for some of them, um, this could have been a person that's very stuck to their pride or their ego. Um, and I feel like there was a point in time where, where they would be able to try to win you over. Um, however, they decided not to move forward and that not moving forward created more disparity between you two, more time for you to actually be able to heal and move on. And I feel that that's the course of action you took. Now they're regretting it is what I'm sensing here uh, with the high priestess uh, trying to hide or trying to keep um, their feelings about wanting to come back to you hidden only because they feel like it would be very difficult for you to allow them to step back into your life. So I don't see any future actions. Um, I see them more in their head about the situation more than anything. All right. Now let's go to Taurus. We're going to look into Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Speak to me about their new love or the new love that's coming. How do they see Taurus? How do they see Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And what is their future actions towards Taurus? Future actions towards Taurus. All right. Two of Pentacles. So, um, Taurus, you may be dealing with someone that may be feeling like you are extremely difficult to read or like you're very guarded. I feel like you come off very strong to them and they may actually be a bit intimidated by you. In regards to how they feel about you, they are uncertain. I feel like it has more to do with the intimidation. Uh, they feel that either you're very hard to please or they feel like it's very difficult to get through. Um, is it really worth it? Uh, should I continue putting effort? Or am I going to be in a position where I constantly have to be chasing the Taurus? So if you are making your new partner or new interest uh, chase, you try to keep the mind games to a bare minimum because I feel like this person um, doesn't really have the patience to be playing mind games. Um, and the Two of Pentacles does indicate to me that you may be feeling uncertain about this connection or they may be feeling uncertain about this connection because someone hasn't moved on. So if you feel like you've been dealing with a new person and they are very seclusive, meaning they don't bring you around their friends, they don't um, really interact with you on a social level, um, then the reason for it is because they may be holding on to hope in regards to a person from the past. Um, so it's kind of like the situation where they haven't fully moved on and they don't want to put you or bring you into their inner circle if it's going to jeopardize the opportunity of rekindling something from the past. Now, keep in mind, it is a general reading. This could be you. Um, so if that's the case, my advice would be to uh, not really put a lot of effort and energy towards this connection because I don't see that their future actions is going to be any type of action. If anything, a bit of inconsistency is what I'm seeing here. All right, now let's go to Old Love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Old Love, how do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Okay, here we go. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Taurus? Why do they feel this way about Taurus? Okay. And their future actions towards Taurus. Future actions towards Taurus. Future actions towards Taurus. Okay, so I definitely don't see any future actions on their part. I don't see them trying to come back around 
or trying to rekindle anything. If anything, I feel like for some of you guys, you may have ended uh, the relationship on very bad terms. Um, I feel like there's still a lot of unresolved um, emotions here on their part. Uh, this could be you as well, Taurus. Um, but the way they're viewing the situation or why they feel this way, the world card, is understanding that the relationship run its course. And they may have, if it, if it was you the one that walked away or that ended this relationship, Taurus, there was a higher elevation. There was like a you stepping into a higher version of yourself where you were more self-aware. Um, this could have been whatever it is that the relationship was missing or that you felt this person could not give you. There was a higher understanding of, okay, this is not going to go anywhere. It's time that we, you know, go our own ways or our own separate ways, perhaps through very difficult um, experiences in this relationship. I feel like they hold a grudge um, because of that. It's like they don't want to accept. It's almost like the ending of the relationship to them was more of a rejection, even though they could have been like the reason why you walked away. Um, it's kind of like the person that puts you through the trenches, that drags you. Um, and then they ask you why you're leaving me after you've been mistreated or perhaps taken for granted. Um, so there is definitely a feeling like you were the one that walked away or you were the one that gave up, even though they weren't fully invested in the relationship. With the hermit, I do see them internalizing. I feel like from now all the way to probably November, there may be unresolved issues like i said unresolved emotions that may come to surface for them where they're gonna have to acknowledge um as i do see a some type of uh, apology some type of even if they don't reach out and give you the like the apology um i feel like they're becoming more self-aware to them understanding that they played a major role in why this relationship ended so again, I don't see any movement or any communication. Um, if anything, I just feel like they haven't moved on because they can't take the rejection or the end of that relationship um, very well. They don't want to take responsibility for what happened or what unfolded in that connection. All right, now let's move on with Gemini. Let's look into their new love. How do they see you, Gemini? How do they see Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus new love okay oh i pulled two all right we'll stick with those two okay and how do they feel about gemini how do they feel about gemini interesting what are their future actions future actions towards gemini All right, so what I'm seeing here is a major transition. Um, if you guys are currently seeing, feeling, or um, basically dating someone that was uh, potentially could have been a friend or someone that uh, was within your inner circle, um, I feel like it's progressively, it's something that didn't happen overnight. I feel like it was a process. Now, if you're currently single, um, what they're telling you here is that a friend or someone that is very close to you or very clo close to your circle will be revealing their feelings for you. And though you may feel uh, like it's not necessarily a smart move, especially if it's a very close friend of yours, where you feel like you will jeopardize uh, or you may jeopardize the friendship if you decide to take the route of dating each other, um, I feel like it's only an, it's only a matter of time. So my advice is, again, if sometime by the end of this month or beginning of November, you have a friend or someone that professes their love to you, that you know who they are, I would advise to give them the opportunity. Why? Because we have the high priestess here and the hanged man, which indicates going within or pulling in some type of spiritual or soul connection with the hanged man being able to see things or experience things on a very different level. So again, there is a higher elevation here because we have the uh, Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups, which is genuine emotion, genuine intention. Um, 
based a relationship based on a friendship but could potentially be uh that you are giving yourself the opportunity perhaps you guys both have been friends for a while you guys have dated different people never thought of dating each other and circumstances may lead you guys to be single at the exact same time and you start to spend more time it doesn't happen overnight is what they're saying however this is a beautiful connection because they will potentially be able to fulfill or to bring to you that which you desire in a partner and you possess the qualities that they are looking for in a partner as well so beautiful energy here all right now let's look into the old love for gemini's how do they feel about gemini how do they feel about gemini how do they feel about gemini Oh, doesn't want to come out. All right. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Gemini? High Priestess. Interesting. And future actions. Future actions. Page of Swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, um, Gemini, is... How they're viewing you, or I should say how they feel about you at this point in time. King of Swords usually indicates to me a person that is very non-emotional. Um, I feel like it has more to do with their ego. It has more to do with their pride. Um, this is a person that could be very emotionally detached. They may actually be giving you the cold shoulder, especially if you're dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy. It's almost like they are... Uh, really not trying or not showing, like trying the best they can not to show emotion. Um, King of Swords also indicates being methodical, uh, really thinking about how to proceed. Just know that from now to November, whatever their actions are, it was thought out. Like they know exactly what they're doing. I would advise to be a bit on the defensive side. Um, like I said, if you're still dealing with them because there's children involved, I feel like they're not going to make it easy for you for the remainder of the month. Um, and again, when they're like an example, if you're dealing with uh, a partner or next partner that is not necessarily thoughtful and all of a sudden they're being extremely thoughtful, it's because they're wanting something. They're wanting to get something out of you. So again, it's like they're being methodical about how they act or how they treat you for the remaining of the month only because um, they're wanting to either get, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like every action they do, they thought it out. They planned it. Um, High Priestess is, you know, representing why they feel this way it's like they feel like they need to be sneaky they need to hide their true intentions um perhaps because they're trying to get something out of you so again could be child support could be assistance could be um you know for you to be more accessible like to give to have more accessibility to your kids if that's the situation um, but more than anything, again, not, uh, King of Swords and Page of Swords indicates to me a person that is really planning how they're acting. It's not like something that uh, there's a hidden motive here is what I'm saying. Um, so, again, if you guys are going through some type of separation, some, some type of breakup, uh, they're playing nice because they don't want to drag it out. They don't want to be on your bad side. Um, and they're portraying themselves to be uh thoughtful even though you know they're not naturally that way so just know that whatever it is that they're saying or acting towards you it's not authentic it's not genuine um so just be be mindful of that is what i'm what i'm sensing here because i feel like they're not trying to be genuine with you and page of swords does indicate trying to gather some type of information or trying to gather something where they would be able to have the upper hand with you so just be mindful of that okay all right so in regards to cancer sun moon rising venus let's look into their new love how do they see cancer sun moon rising venus cancer page of swords okay how 
do they feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer? Okay, future actions towards cancer. Future actions towards cancer. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to be honest, uh, Cancer, if you recently connected or there's been a, you were recently dating someone, I feel that they are definitely non-available. Uh, uh, this is emotionally. They're just not ready. They're not equipped uh, to give you the nurturing or loving relationship that you're looking for. Page of Swords indicates to me very quick, very hasty type of energy. They come in and they go out. If you're currently dealing with someone that has a tendency of ghosting you or someone that overwhelms you, you know, they love bomb you and then all of a sudden they go missing for like a day or two days, they're doing this on purpose. They're used to doing this behavior, which indicates to me manipulation, right? Emotional manipulation. They want you to need them. They want you to want them. And then they pull back because they know that you will become more obsessive. Um, but the intention is ultimately to leave you or to lead you on. Nine of Pentacles is the singlehood card to me. With the Five of Pentacles, they're not emotionally equipped to give you any type of stability. So do not waste your time, Cancer, if you are dealing with someone with that energy. Now let's look into your past love or old love. Old love for Cancers. How do they feel about Cancer? How do they feel about Cancer? Okay, why do they feel this way about cancer? Why do they feel this way about cancer? Oh, almost pulled two. All right, and future actions. Here we go. We have three cards. Okay, I'm going to stay with those. So in regards to how they feel about you, cancer, you have the queen of wands. Um, you could have been in a situation where you felt like you guys kept going back with each other um or break up and separating and then going back with each other but i feel like it was more of a physical connection so you could have been like still creeping with your ex however i do see the four of swords here as how they feel about you so i feel like they are healing or they've emotionally healed from you um but there may still be that physical connection still there um so my advice is if you are sleeping with your ex partner or still dealing with them you feel like something can come from that um don't hold on to that because you need to see things for the reality of it and they're just physically there present only in the physical aspect so you don't want to be holding on to someone you still haven't moved on from especially if you think oh it's just having fun when deep down you are hoping to turn the situation around Four of Swords indicates to me they're already emotionally disconnected, so they're not emotionally invested in this connection anymore. Now, in regards to their future actions, I have the Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. So again, we go back to that of if, in fact, you are dealing with someone that you just haven't got over and you think that, you know, by being physical with each other, the spark... Um, or the flame may spark again to revisit. I see them walking out of this relationship and getting themselves into another relationship that may get you or put you in a position where hurt becomes much more than what you're currently going through. So uh, the advice here is, again, it's time to pull away from this type of uh, energy because I feel like they're just leading you on at some point they'll leave you hanging dry and um you don't want to put yourself in that position you want to protect yourself cancer all right now let's go to leo all right let's look into leo's new love how do they see leo sun moon rising venus new love for leo how do they see you how do they see you leo Okay, Seven of Cups. How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Knight of Swords, okay. And their future actions. Future actions. Q 
King of Cups. Okay. So I feel like there's someone that is very emotionally invested in you, Leo. However, they may feel like it's a waste of time because either you've made it very clear that you have options or they're very aware that you have options. Now, the Knight of Swords does indicate to me in regards to um, how they feel about you is very uncertain. Uh, Knight of Swords indicates to me being equipped, um, but this is a person that is very methodical in regards to like jumping into a relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like this person is very flighty, um, like not consistent. But I feel that the reason why they're not consistent is because of insecurity issues, because they felt or you've made it clear to them that you have options, that you are emotionally mature, that you're not about wasting time. And this kind of threw them off or made them question what your true intentions were for them. Now, in regards to their future actions, King of Cups does indicate to me finally opening up or giving you a display, a love display, uh, something that shows you that they are in it or that they are willing to be 100% in this if you give them some type of uh, reciprocation. So again, um, for some of you guys, you could be dealing uh, with multiple people and there may be a feeling of uncertainty, not knowing who to choose. Uh, what Spirit is telling you here is always listen to your gut. The person that is the most emotionally available to you is the one that's going to be very supportive and the one that is going to authentically want to put effort in building something that is long term. All right, now let's go to old love for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about you, Leo? How do they feel about Leo's old love? How do they feel about Leo? All right. Why do they feel this way about Leo? How do they feel this way about Leo? And future actions. Future actions towards Leo. Future actions towards Leo. All right. So I feel like for some of you guys, you may still be contacting or you stay, may still be dealing with an ex-partner. They may be around you or around your family or friends. Um... Page of Swords usually indicates to me when it comes to how they uh, feel about you. They're still not completely over you, Leo. However, um, why they feel this way is because perhaps for some of you guys, you could have dealt with someone that was very long term. You guys could have been in a very committed long term connection. Uh, there is plans for a future, you know, to build a future together. Uh, could have talked about family or even getting married. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been married. It could have been living with each other. However, the Queen of Swords and future actions does indicate to me uh, being the bigger person or having to be the bigger person in creating, uh, you know, boundaries. I feel like for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a partner that or you're dealing with an ex-partner um, that does, doesn't still get the concept that you guys are no longer together, like an example, they'll text you. And they'll be mean in their texts or in their communication. Um, and you're like, you know what? Well, we've been over. I don't have to deal with this type of shit. They could be like a bit intrusive and feel like you're still belonging to them in some shape, way, or form. If that's something that you're dealing with, what Spirit is telling you here is that you need to learn uh, to create boundaries. You need to learn to remind them hey you know what i don't owe you any type of explanation we're not together we haven't been together um what they're telling you here is that you need to detach from this person whether it's on an energetical level or whether it's physically telling them you need to back the fuck up um because i feel like they're being a bit intrusive and you may feel comfortable or may be okay with it because they've done this throughout the whole relationship even up until the separation or breakup, but they are telling you here that you need to assert your boundaries. All right, now let's go to Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. New love for Virgo. How do they see Virgo? How do they see Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they see Virgo? 
Okay, how do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? And future actions, future actions towards Virgo. All right. So what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is you guys could have had a falling out or there could have been some type of distancing or emotional detachment from the connection uh, in regards to how they feel about you. They see you as the person that they're wanting to be with. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as this is a person that I want to be with. There was some type of, you know, energy that... Um, and this is more of like a miscommunication, which I completely make sense. Uh, Virgos, you guys are ruled by Mercury and it's, it was on retrograde. Um, so again, there could have been some miscommunication. You guys could have expressed maybe not in the best form. Um, so there is definitely here a almost a feeling like they don't want to lose you, Virgo. They don't want you to move on. Their future actions is the Six of Swords. So I feel like they're not they may get to a point of feeling like they have to walk away from this connection. But again, I feel like it's something you can prevent. So if you're dealing with this type of situation, not sure exactly what unfolded that created this, you know, uh, distancing, but there is still something that you can salvage in this connection because I do see them like really being emotionally invested in this connection. However, Six of Swords does indicate uh, getting to a point of walking away or uh, trying to move on. Um, and the reasoning behind the trying to move on is because they don't want to feel like they're the ones that are doing all the chasing. So not sure what happened there, Virgo, but if you felt like at some point uh, you had a little bit to do with pushing them away, which I completely understand sometimes our defense mechanism, um, you know, we feel like things are not going particularly well or how we want them to go. And sometimes we have a tendency of self-sabotaging, of ending or walking away before they walk away from us. So if you had something to do with this, just know that you're able to salvage it um, and to bring them back or, or to create some type of communication. But the only way communication will happen is if you take action towards that for a goal. All right, now let's look into the old love, old love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Okay, why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way? And future actions, future actions. All right, so you guys have two major arcanas here, Virgo. I am going to be honest, if there was a recent separation, which makes sense with the with the new love, um, if the new love turned into an ex or you guys separated or broke up or something, there may be a revisiting of this relationship. Ace of Swords indicates to me communication opening up or them reaching out to you. The world card is wanting to take it to the next level, meaning if they were non-committal or confused, they're coming back around and they're wanting to solidify this. They're wanting to revisit. They're wanting to see if we can salvage this relationship, Virgo. With the Strength card, I feel like it's going to take not only strength on their part because it is ultimately them... Um, overcoming their shadow side or overcoming uh, certain lessons that they needed to mature in order to be able to give you the relationship that you were looking for that you deserve Virgo and I see them stepping up but it is going to take for you to st to step up as well if you're still wanting to rekindle or you're still thinking about your ex or wanting to um, you know get back together if you're looking for reconciliation I definitely do see the possibility of, of going through that um, almost like a turning page, being able to be completely honest and transparent with each other about your wants and needs. The strength card does indicate to me, um, you know, it hasn't been easy. This hasn't been an easy connection, 
but I feel like both of you guys, if you put effort and energy towards this connection, it could be salvaged and it can be healed. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's look into new love for Libra. How do they see you? How do they see Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Ace of Swords, interesting. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about Libra? King of Cups. And future actions towards Libra. Future actions towards Libra. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay. So for a lot of you Libras out there, especially those of you guys that are single, <laughs> that's not going to be for long i do see um new connection uh, for some of you guys you may be dealing with um water energy pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be their sun could be their moon or rising now i do see communication opening up being more transparent type of communication more to the point uh, king of cups does indicate to me um them being emotionally invested in this connection or being willing uh, to meet you halfway. This is a connection where um, both of you guys are needing or wanting different things in a partner and it just brings to balance what each other needs. So as an example, what I'm hearing is whatever you need to work on or whatever it is that you don't necessarily possess, this partner does. So it brings perfect harmonious type of energy. The analytical, which could be you, Libra, um, processing uh, everything that has to do with, you know, with the mind and looking forward and making plans and the emotional spectrum, which is emotion, water, um, having to do with the nurturing, with the love and understanding. I feel like it's very harmonious type of energy here. So for those of you guys that are single, like I said, I don't see that happening uh, for very long, uh, there is a connection or something that will be unfolding in the remainder of the month. A person could um, connect with you or you may connect with this person. It could be a person that not necessarily lives in your city. Um, they could be visiting. They could be for the holidays or something like that. Um, however, I do see them thinking or wanting. They're in a very different stage in their life where they're wanting to cement roots. So I do see them planning or thinking of, uh, you know, coming to your side of the country or, or moving into the city where you live. And they come to visit only to uh, really fall in love, not only with the place, but fall in love with um, potentially with you, Libra. So this kind of motivates them. I definitely do see beautiful energy here. So now for those of you guys that are dating someone, I feel like um, the communication needs or will be bettering. It will be opening up and being more transparent and to the point in regards to what you're expecting from this relationship, as well as them uh, speaking about what it is that they need or want in this relationship and being able to move forward in their future actions ace of cups is professing so if you re only recently started dating someone they will be professing their feelings for you or they will be asking you out officially all righty now let's look into old love for libra okay i'm gonna put them back in all right libra sun moon rising venus old love how do they feel about libra how do they feel about Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about Libra? The wheel. Okay. Why do they feel this way about Libra? Why do they feel this way about Libra? And future actions. Future actions towards Libra. Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like the person um, that you were dealing with, Libra, or your ex-partner, ex-lover, um, it's been long in the making. I feel like for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you kept breaking up or going back with each other. 
The wheel does speak about changing season or understanding that it's time to move on. The Knight of Pentacles does indicate it's been a very long journey, like I said. I feel like for some of you guys, you've gotten into the habit of breaking up and going back with each other. Um, but ultimately, I do see them moving on. I feel like they are at a place in their life where they realize or will be realizing that this is not really going anywhere. And they're ready for some type of stability, some type of consistency. Um, it could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. It could be you, the one that decides, I'm over going through this constant roller coaster and I'm ready to move on to something much more stable. And that's exactly what I'm seeing unfold. So in regards to communication, I don't see communication opening up for you guys. Um, if anything, if they've been very silent, it usually indicates that they are uh, could have potentially already connected with someone and they're putting their effort or energy there. Um, don't hold on to this situation, Libra. I feel like it's time uh, or the time has passed um, to be able to salvage this connection. All right, now let's go to Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love for Scorpio. How do they see Scorpio? How do they see Scorpio? All right, we have the King of Swords. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? And future actions towards Scorpio. Future actions towards Scorpio. Oh, cards want to pop out. Future actions towards Scorpio. Seven of Cups. All right, Scorpio. If you've been dealing with a person that is just not consistent right now, it's almost like they're distancing themselves or they're very cold, um, very dry text. They, they're not really trying to carry the conversation. The reason for it is because they're definitely entertaining other possibilities or other options. Um, I don't see that they are emotionally invested in this connection. Six of Swords indicates already looking to move forward or looking towards the Seven of Cups, which is options or other people. So if your partner or the person you were seeing all of a sudden uh, started not being present or not really texting, not really calling, um, or not really visiting or spending time with you, it's because they've been putting effort or energy somewhere else. They're definitely entertaining another person or other people. Move on from that situation. All right, Scorpio, now let's look into past love, old love. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Okay, the judgment card here. Why do they feel this way about Scorpio? Why do they feel this way about Scorpio? Okay, and future actions, future actions. Okay, so we have two cards that popped out, so we're gonna stay with that. Future actions is the 10 of wands and six of wands. So they're definitely holding on to their pride, Scorpio. Um, in regards to how they feel about your judgment card does indicate to me um, not fully moved on. Uh, perhaps holding on to some type of hope or wanting to reach out or the past coming back around, right? Knocking on your door. However, five of wands in regards to why they feel this way. If your ex recently reached out, communicated, texted you, messaged you on social media, the reason for it is because they see you getting attention or they see that you are potentially moving on and they're not okay with that. Ten of Wands and Six of Wands indicates to me the stress, but it's the stress that you're not giving them the attention anymore. It's kind of like the fuck boy or fuck girl energy where the moment they see you start to move on or kind of get over them or no longer posting sad memes on your Instagram or on your Snapchat, um, they realize that, hmm, you know, what the hell is up with Scorpio? They're not really putting their emotions out there like that they must be moving on, let me reach out to them, that type of energy. So, like I said, if there was a recent communication, do not think anything will come from that, Scorpio. It's time to close the chapter on that, 
because they're just wasting your time. And the reality is they don't want you to move on. All right, now let's move on to Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, new love. How do they see Sagittarius? How do they see Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, new love? How do they see Sagittarius? All right. Knight of Wands. How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? And future actions, future actions towards Sagittarius, future actions towards Sagittarius, Ten of Wands, okay. So what I'm seeing here, uh, Sagittarius, is they definitely love your spirit. They love that you're spontaneous, um, maybe even a bit quirky, uh, the freedom uh, that you represent. Not necessarily like you go out there and do crazy stuff, but... It has more to do with your energy and the energy that you evoke. Um, they definitely see you as a person of substance or someone very exciting. Now, in regards to um, how they feel about you, Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of physical attraction here. Now, in regards to their future actions, though, the Ten of Wands does indicate to me feeling overburdened. Or feeling like at some point this connection may create more stress than the, what they're looking for. Because it's a night, it indicates to me a person that is not um, emotionally mature or equipped to be in a committed relationship. It has more to do with um, the excitement. It's kind of like when you're first getting to know someone, everything is exciting, everything is perfect until reality, reality sets in, right? until we have to work through certain things uh, to find out if we are a match. And I feel like this person is not really the type that's going to stick it out. So if this is something that you're dealing with uh, someone that's exciting and you're just, you know, you're okay with that, then all for it. <laughs> I encourage you to have fun while, you, while it lasts. But if you're looking for something long term, my advice would be to keep it pushing because they will become more of a burden to you than anything else now let's look into the old love for sagittarius old love how do they feel about you sagittarius old love how do they feel about sagittarius old love here we go two of swords okay why do they feel this way about sagittarius why do they feel this way about sagittarius ten of swords and future actions future actions future actions temperance okay so what they're showing me here is at this point in time i feel like they've you know came to the conclusion that you guys are better off um being you know your own path taking your own path than to be together it almost seems like it was more of a release they are aware that it's came to its full conclusion so i don't see them uh, necessarily holding on if anything i feel them very emotionally detached from the situation um two of swords also does indicate to me the uh, wanting to push out everyone or anyone that tries to emotionally connect with them so this could be a person that has a tendency of like just not being emotionally invested in relationships or a bit of narcissistic kind of type of tendencies um but the Ten of Swords does indicate their acknowledgement that it's come to an end. Temperance does indicate healing. So for some of you guys, this is the closing chapter. For others of you guys that have been breaking up and going back or reconciliating with your partner, I feel like sometime around this month or the beginning of November, there's going to be like reality setting in and realizing that instead of continuing picking at the wound, you're going to decide to heal. So I do see some separations or breakups happening around this time. Uh, temperance is the need to fully invest in yourself, to fully heal yourself, heal from traumas, from past relationships, um, to be able to raise your vibration and step into the higher version of yourself so that therefore you can be able to attract or pull towards you a more healthy, loving relationship. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for new love. 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, new love. How do they see Capricorn? How do they see Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Capricorn? The devil. Oof, very much in your power, Capricorn. <laughs> All right. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Capricorn, I know I said this is new love, but... Well, okay, I'll get into it right now. I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. Okay, and what is their future actions? Future actions. Future actions for Capricorn. Future actions for Capricorn. The Emperor. Okay, so what they're showing me here, as soon as I pulled out the devil card, uh, this is definitely you being in your power, uh, Capricorn. Um, I feel like there could have been a situation where you were dealing with someone or recently started dealing with someone but that's quickly going to come to an end that's quickly gonna just not work out and you're gonna realize you don't want to waste your time um in this process i do see someone returning back i do see someone coming back into your life and the reason i say that is because at the very bottom of this deck not sure if you guys can see it but at the very bottom right here it's almost like a ghost and it's really standing now to me and it's a ghost from the past coming back around um and what they're showing me here is you could have potentially got yourself or started dating someone because you wanted to get over someone else i feel like that person is coming back around and the reason why they're coming back around is because the emperor card is a higher version of the knights right or even the kings the emperor is much more mature or much more experienced than the kings and the knights and obviously the pages so i see that they had to go through something where they needed to close a cycle to be able to fully commit or fully come at you capricorn the right way so for some of you guys if you felt like there was a missed opportunity or like timing or something that had to do with like it just it, everything was great and it just fell apart and you didn't know why and you try to get over this person by dealing with someone else i feel that person coming back around and with the emperor they are bringing or wanting to bring something much more stable so i don't feel like it's a waste of time if an ex-partner comes back around because i feel like they had to go through their own journey to be able to find themselves and to be able to be at the same vibration where you are at even if it felt forever capricorn i do see them coming back around like i said now let's look into old love old love for capricorn old love how do they feel about capricorn how do they feel about capricorn how do they feel about capricorn the world card okay why do they feel this way why do they feel this way okay and future actions oh drop some cards give me one second you guys okay future actions towards capricorn okay you guys it's like we've seen it right <laughs> okay so the world card indicates to me that a cycle ended um the relationship obviously this is old love so it could have been the relationship that came to an end the ending cycle the closure now in regards to why they feel this way the world does indicate also the self-actualization of I've gone through all the lessons. I've gone through everything I needed to go through in order to become a higher version of myself. So therefore I can step into my power. And that's exactly what I seen with the new love scenario, where if you were dealing with someone new, it doesn't work out. And I see someone else coming back. Now the world and the king of wands does indicate again, that cycle that needed to happen, that growth. It's almost as if you guys needed to be pulled away from each other to be able to step into your power and to step into a higher version of yourselves to be able to come back around and this is the universe bringing you guys back together king of wands with the knight of cups um 
being able to come back around and profess their love for you or declare their love to you. Um, there's a higher elevation of commitment that I'm seeing here uh, for a lot of you Capricorn. So again, if there was a situation or a partner, someone that it just felt like timing or things just couldn't fall into place, I feel like dealing with someone new is going to break that down in order to make room for the higher versions of yourselves and the universe bringing you guys i'm hearing collide so it's almost like bringing you guys together um to be able to be in in perfect unison uh balance uh the yin and the yang the you know harmonious type of energy there is definitely someone that's coming back around and, and is professing their love to you. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with the player or someone that was like everyone was like, they're never going to settle. And it took the Capricorn to settle them <laughs> uh, because that's definitely what I'm sensing here. It's almost like I'm understanding that Capricorn is the best partner the best version of love that I've ever experienced and it doesn't make sense because being with other people just doesn't mean anything any, anymore it's not exciting anymore and they're looking for that I feel like for a lot of you guys the people you guys were dealing with could have been people that uh, or men or women that Maybe they were comfortable being free, being with one person and another. I feel like the moment they met you or the moment you came into their lives, you showed them a very different type of love or a very different type of stability, emotional stability that they never experienced. So I'm definitely seeing a higher elevation here. So very interesting for you, Capricorns. All right. Give me one second. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love for Aquarius. New love for Aquarius. How do they see you? How do they see you, Aquarius? How do they see Aquarius? All right. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? And future actions, future actions. All right, Aquarius. So I feel like you guys have been definitely, from what I'm seeing here, it's definitely like a situation where communication just hasn't been the best. Um, it's almost like continuously bumping heads or continuously having to prove each other like right, um, or like you have the last word type of thing. This could be you or this could be your partner. However, in regards to how they feel about you, Knight of Cups does indicate they do have emotions for you. They do care for you. However, I feel like they see the situation as a lost cause. They're seeing it like it's too much work or perhaps too much work from what they're accustomed to. Um, so they're a bit in balance or a bit unsure. In regards to the future actions, I don't see them taking any action. So if there was a recent argument or a recent um, even ghosting for some of you guys, I don't see them taking action towards reaching out. Um, I see them still trying to weigh their options or weigh the decision, what they're going to decide to do moving forward. Not necessarily a good thing, Aquarius. But this is the thing. If they're not willing to put effort or they feel like you're too much to handle, then obviously it's not a person you want to date anyways. So remember that. All right. Now let's look into the old love for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, old love. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? Okay. Strength card. Why do they feel this way? 
Why do they feel this way about Aquarius, Sun, and Rising Venus? Okay. And future actions. Future actions. Future actions towards Aquarius. Future actions towards Aquarius. All right. So, Aquarius, you could have been dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo here. I feel like this was a lot of a lot of effort on this connection or this relationship. It was definitely a lot of hard work um, in regards to how they feel or why they feel this way about you. They kind of blame you or they kind of put the blame on you in regards to why the relationship didn't work. Um, and I feel like they haven't taken the time to actually take like reflection on exactly what went wrong in the relationship it's very easy to point fingers um it takes much more maturity to look in the mirror and realize exactly where where it was that you lacked or that you decided not to put as much effort in that connection or relationship so what i'm hearing here is basically putting the kind of the self blame on you of why it didn't work out um they definitely see you they see you as a person that they, they obviously intensity and uh, passion is here. Um, but the interesting thing is that I'm not seeing any water energy, which indicates to me kind of like the situation where they're not emotionally invested in this relationship anymore. However, they are still very physically attracted to you. And I see like um, a little bit of envy, a little bit of jealousy. Uh, in regards to their future actions, you may actually hear from them in the next coming weeks. I do see communication, but again, I feel like it's very minimal and it has more to do with passion. So I'm hearing like a sexual text or a what are you doing type of text at like one in the morning type of thing. Um, it's very driven from passion and the physical versus like anything emotional. So if you're still holding on to your ex-partner hoping that there could be reconciliation just be very careful i feel like you may be tempted into hooking up with them and it's not progressing or going anywhere so keep that in mind aquarius all right and finally we are at pisces sun moon rising venus let's look into the new love for pisces sun moon rising venus new love how do they see pisces how do they see pisces sun moon rising venus Okay. Okay. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? All right. And future actions. Future actions. Three of Wands. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are definitely dealing with someone new. I have the full card. This is a new chapter, a new beginning, a new connection from the full to the world right so the full card is literally the zero card and the full i mean and the world card is 21 so there is definitely if you've recently and i mean recently started dealing with someone this person is someone that you're going to get to a point of a higher elevation or higher commitment this is a person for some of you guys even that uh, marriage may come from this because you go from the fool to the world the three of wands and what comes after the three of wands, right? The four of wands, celebration or marriage uh, with the world and the full beautiful energy. I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, especially like I said, those of you guys that recently connected with someone. And when I say recent, I mean you haven't been dating this person for longer than a month. Um, this person that recently came into your life is definitely someone that is going to play a very important role in your life. I feel like both of you guys have really manifested each other or called each other into existence. Um, this is the, the, you know, the end all be all type of scenario. Um, and they are saying here that for some of you guys, it happened very unexpectedly or you were definitely not expecting it to come as quickly as it did. Those of you guys that are single Pisces, definitely stay out in the lookout. This could be a... You may be dealing with an Aries. You may also be dealing with a Taurus, um, with a Leo type of energy, with a 
with the Scorpio as well is what I'm hearing. And for others of you, you may actually be dealing with a Capricorn that's coming in. Um, those are just a few of the signs that I'm hearing. Again, could be their moon rising or sun sign. Uh, beautiful energy here, Pisces. All right, now let's look into the old love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, old love. How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? Seven of Cups, okay. Why do they feel this way about Pisces? Why do they feel this way about Pisces? And the future actions towards Pisces, future actions towards Pisces, future actions towards Pisces. Okay, here we go. Seven of Pentacles. All right. So you have two sevens here. Um, you're definitely experiencing. You're definitely experiencing a higher elevation of spiritual awakening, Pisces. Seven of Cups does indicate to me in regards to how they feel about you they definitely feel like you're an option um so that could have been the reason for the separation or breakup um this person is not the committal type this is a type of person that has multiple personalities or presents themselves to be very different to all the many different people that they date um in regards to why they feel this way page of swords they feel like they feel like they have the the opportunity to entertain other possibilities for some of you guys it could have been that you've overlooked once or twice or multiple times them stepping out of the relationship it's like we teach people how we want to be treated by what we allow them uh to do or get away with and i feel like you've been more than patient Pis pisces i feel like you continuously keep hoping for the best unfortunately um, it's the same recurring cycle. So if you're dating or have dated a serious, you know, um, person that has a serious issue with being committed, they're not going to commit to you. And it's time that you see things for the reality. The more you continuously keep trying to force them to change or force yourself to adapt to the position or situations that they put you in, the more the repeating cycle is going to be seven of pentacles is indicate uh, indicative of you know the yeah being able to see the fruits of your labor but with the seven of cups and the page of swords it's like you're gonna keep experiencing or keep repeating a cycle because they're not learning and you're refusing to learn by refusing to walk away from this situation my advi my advice to you guys is stop wasting your time this is a person that doesn't even know who they are, uh, which is why they don't, they clearly don't know what it is that they want. And also with the Page of Swords and the Seven of uh, Cups, this, the first thing that I, you know, heard when I seen these two cards was this person doesn't even know who they are. It's almost like they adapt based on the person they're dating. Uh, so they don't even have like a self identity. Um, so again, don't waste your time in this situation, Pisces. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you insight regarding your love life. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. I wish you guys all the very best. Happy Hallow's Eve to you and your family and loved ones. And we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.